What's going on everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFollows.com getting a little bit late start on the week. And before I go over the highlights, like always, greatly appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe by hitting the red button below. At the time of shooting this video, we are halfway to 139,000 subscribers. So again, the like, it greatly helps. And then from there, we'll be nearing in on 140K. Now, for some of the highlights in this video, we have details on the Air Jordan 7 Sapphire releasing in 2022. Also, we have a new Air Jordan 6 dropping next year, some new details on the Air Jordan 1 Pollen, and much more from Jordan brand. Other than that, we got a few topics to go over from Nike. And now without wasting too much more of your time, let's jump into the news. Releasing this fall, we now have a first look at the Supreme Nike Air Force One Low Flax. I'm sure most people will be calling this shoe wheat, and months and months back we saw a Photoshop mock-up to let us know that this pair was releasing. So the mock-up and what's actually releasing looks very similar, and as you can see, throughout the upper we have suede, which actually looks pretty good. And then we have the Supreme logo by the hill. Nike Air branding lands on the tongue. We have Air on the midsole and then flax on the rubber outsole. Also, they come with a lace jewel with Supreme branding. A pretty straightforward look, nothing crazy here. And at the time of shooting, they are expected to release this fall. And currently we don't have a retail price. Sakai has had a busy year when it comes to collaborations, and they have another three-way collaboration set to release with Kaz and Nike. All three will team up to release two colorways of the Nike Blazer Low. One pair comes highlighted in red while the other features blue. We now have a detailed look at both colorways. And as you can see, the pairs also come in a double layer theme. We have dual swoosh logos, eye stays, laces, tongue labels, and heel overlays. On the lateral side on the midsole, we have Kaz's XX branding that also lands on the tongue along with Sakai and Nike branding as well as the insoles. Now, the rumor is that the two will release this month. However, there isn't confirmation and currently no retail price. We also have a detailed look at the off-white Nike Dunk Low 1 of 50. Now, as you guys may know, there is 50 colorways releasing. All of them are similar. However, the number one in 50 will feature the most differences. So the number one will feature a white upper, an aged midsole. We have exposed foam, metallic silver on the swoosh, and a little bit of what looks to be pink. We also have images of the box, and I'm not sure if I mentioned this in the previous video, however, what I heard is that the number one and the number 50 will be the most limited of the collection. So obviously those two will be the hardest to obtain and probably go for the most money. Now, as for the release date, the collection will begin to roll out on August 9th. Now, Nike has already stated that enable for you to receive access, you need to be active on the sneakers app. So if you watch their live streams, take part of their polls, interact with the stories, things like that, it'll give you a better chance at receiving access. Also, the retail price will be 180. Jordan brand is releasing a DIY collection. One of the models is the Air Jordan 4. We have yet to see images of that pair. However, another pair that's releasing is the Air Jordan 1 Mid. So we have a first look at the shoes. They come dressed in a white, black, and vault colorway. Now across the base, we have outlines of various designs. Some of those designs includes actual sneakers, Jumpman logo, stars, and much more. Now, although it's not confirmed for this Air Jordan 1, the Air Jordan 4 DIY is expected to come with markers. So with that being said, it's a possibility that the Air Jordan 1 Mid will also come with markers. This pair also features black patent leather on the ankle overlay. It also wraps the heel. The same shade lands on the outsole, laces, and Jumpman on the tongue. Finishing the look is Volt on the Wings logo and insoles. No release date for this pair. They are expected to debut this summer and the retail price will be 100. 
Releasing once again part of the K54 collection is the Air Jordan 1 Low. This year, the pair has a new look and features white leather across the upper, black nubuck on the overlays, and then we have the pattern that is inspired by traditional West African fabrics, which lands on the collar, liner, and insoles. On the tongue, we have a red 54 embroidered. The same shade covers the translucent outsole, and then we have co-branding on the heels to finish the look. Now, at the time of shooting this, the release date is July 10th. However, it's possible that the release date could be pushed back, and currently, we don't have a retail price. In May of 2020, Spike Lee was named jury president for the 73rd annual Cannes Film Festival. That took place between May 12th and the 23rd, and to celebrate, Jordan Brand created this Air Jordan 1 sample for Spike Lee. Representing the French flag, this pair comes dressed in red, white, and blue, while constructed with premium suede and leather throughout. And one of the unique features on this pair is the tongue. So on the left tongue, we have a photo of Mars Blackman, who's on the phone, and his face is painted in colors of the French flag. The underside of his hat reads the city's name, Can, while his shirt reads President Mars. You can also see stitched on the tongue, Tinker Hatfield's signature in the lower right corner. And then the right tongue pays tribute to Kobe Bryant, while Spike Lee is dressed in a purple suit that he wore to the Oscars, in tribute to Bryant. Now, if you look closely at that suit, you'll see the number 24. Of course, another tribute to Bryant. Also on the tongue, we have Festival de Cannes and Jury President. Now, the rumor is that only five pairs were made and were given to Spike Lee and friends and family of his. Unfortunately, these won't be hitting retailers anytime soon. However, I like the shoes. I think they're unique. I definitely would try to go after them if they dropped, but that's just my opinion. Let me know yours down below. I'm not sure if you guys are tired of me talking about the Off-White Air Jordan 2, but recently images popped up of the pair in black and blue on feet. So I wanted to showcase that to you guys. I might slow down as far as showing new images unless we have new info. I know I'm a fan of the shoe. I'm more of a fan of the white and red colorway, but it seems like for the most part, more people dislike the pair than like it. One thing I didn't notice in some of the other images that I noticed in these is the midsole. So we've gone over before that it looks cracked. However, on the lateral side of the left shoe, it looks yellow. Now, I'm not sure if that's the lighting or something else that's going on, but I don't get how the yellow detailing is supposed to mimic the sole being put back together. As you guys know, the shoes come with a, well, what appears to be a cracked midsole. Since all of the OG 2s, I haven't seen one pair that isn't cracked, but I think this is a pair that a lot of OG collectors will like. Maybe not this colorway, but like I mentioned before, and I'll mention it again, I wish this wasn't an off-white collab. I'd rather just take this as a release from Jordan Brand, but hey, that's just my opinion. And for the release info, they are currently scheduled to release on September 23rd, same day as the white and red pair, and currently, we don't have a retail price. As we get closer to the potential release date for Jordan Brand's latest K54 collection, we now have official images of the Air Jordan 5. Just the other day, I showcased the friends and family pair, which in my opinion, I like a lot better than the retail pair, but this definitely gives us our best look yet. And from these images, what we can see is that the shoes will feature 3M reflective on the tongue. We have K54 branding and the Jumpman logo on the heel. Also underneath the mesh paneling, we have the K54 logo, all white upper, red detailing on the eyelets, and most of the outsole. The pair also features patterns inspired by the traditional West African fabrics, which covers the liner and laces. Just like the Air Jordan 1 Low, the Air Jordan 5 K54 is currently scheduled to release on July 10th. However, it's possible that we could see the release delayed, and currently we don't have a retail price. It's been a minute since I spoke on this upcoming release, but some new images popped up. News was a bit slow since it was July 4th weekend, but this is what many are calling the Shattered Backboard Air Jordan 1 Low OG. Now it's actually kind of funny because I've seen people going back and forth stating that 
This isn't a SBB release. It's just a colorway that closely matches. And then others saying, well, it's orange, it's white, it's black. Honestly, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to me. I don't really care. I know I've stated this on previous releases. Feel free to call them whatever you want. If you feel more comfortable calling them the orange Air Jordan 1 lows, that's perfectly fine. So other than the new images, we don't have more information. Everything else stays the same and they are currently scheduled to release on August 26th for 130. Also, this pair will be available in men's, women's, and grade school sizing. This might be one of the most hyped Air Jordan 1 releases to come out this summer. Now, I'm going to mix this part of the video with older images and just one new image, and that new image is the box. Now, I know I've stated this in previous videos, but I'm a huge fan when it comes to the box. I like something new. And although this is minor detailing, the Air Jordan 1 High OG Pollen will come with a somewhat new box. Now, it still resembles that of the OG Air Jordan 1 box. However, instead of red, we have yellow. So where it says Nike, that will be dipped in yellow. And personally, as someone that has a lot of Air Jordan 1s going forward, this will be a lot easier to pick out which shoe I'm looking for. And I'll admit, it's a little weird that I get excited about stuff like this. I remember back in the day when Jordans would release the retros, at least, it would be the same box over and over and over. I used to hate that. The only era that I didn't mind it was the Jordan face box, but everything else I really didn't like. Anyways, it's not about me, it's about you guys, so let me know your thoughts on the new box. And currently, the pair is scheduled to release on August 7th, and the retail price will be 170 Another pair I might slow down on showcasing new images of is the Air Jordan 4 Red Thunder. Now, as of late, we've been seeing quite a few new looks. Of course, each set of images, they get a bit better. But like I stated before, I don't want to flood you guys and just over pump the videos with just new images of stuff. I would prefer it to be new images and information. But there's certain shoes that I do like to feature several times before taking a break. Now, of course, that will be different if new information comes, but I don't think I need to go over the details on the shoes. I'm sure you guys know it by now as far as looks go, but this is expected to be a general release. So that means a lot of pairs will debut. It should be easier to obtain, although nothing seems easy as of late when it comes to purchasing shoes. However, what I've noticed is even when the shoes they're getting bought up, the resale prices on a lot of these are really tanking. And yeah, you're still paying above retail, but not nearly as much as we were. Anyways, I hope soon that everybody is able to buy shoes at retail. Believe me, I've heard the complaints, I've seen them. Even I can't even get some of these shoes at retail and I've tried really hard. You would be surprised how many stores that have an official Jordan brand account that knowing what they have, they're not going to sell to you at retail. They'll let you get it early, but they're going to tax you. I've seen it multiple times, and these are for big collaboration releases, sometimes over $1,000. It's insane. Anyways, for those looking forward to buying this pair, they drop on October 2nd for 190. I'm still unsure about the pair. It's starting to grow on me a little bit, but I think this is gonna be one of those pairs for me at least. If I hit at retail, then cool. If not, it is what it is. Now for some more 2022 Air Jordan releases. First up is the Air Jordan 6, which Jordan brand is calling the new Tiffany Blue. Personally, I think that nickname is cringy, but what you're looking at is a Photoshop, thanks to Z Sneakerhead Z, and this is an accurate representation of what's releasing, so you can expect something very similar to this. I was able to see the pair a bit early as well, and the official colorway is white, pure platinum, and mitt foam. Now, I gotta be honest with you, I don't really see Tiffany here, not the Tiffany blue. I know Tiffany is a jewelry company, but whenever I think of it, I think about the SB Dunk Low. The shade doesn't quite match up, and I'm not sure if that's due to legal issues. I don't know the trademark of Tiffany. And the color blocking kind of reminds me of the just released Air Jordan 6 Gold Hoops. Now, if you haven't figured out, and I should have mentioned this early on, I do apologize, this is a women's exclusive release, and they are currently scheduled to release on March 8th 
and the retail price will be 190. Let me know your thoughts on this pair down below. Is this a cop or pass for you? The last story of today is another 2022 Air Jordan release, and this is the Air Jordan 7 Sapphire. Now, don't get excited or upset. This is just the Photoshop. Currently, we don't know how the shoes will look. All we have is a color description. Now, there's a reason why this pair didn't leak, and I'll talk about that in a moment. Now, I'm sure they'll have a different nickname once they're unveiled, but I called them Sapphire due to the colorway, which is Shimmer, Black, and Sapphire. Now, this is also labeled an SC. Usually, when models are labeled an SC, it's going to be a special release. Sometimes they have different materials, designs, or it could celebrate an occasion. Now, off the top of my head, I don't think this will celebrate an occasion due to when they're expected to release, which, again, I'll talk about in a moment. And as you know, next year is the 30th anniversary of the Air Jordan 7, so you can expect multiple releases to come. We've heard rumors about a few, but nothing 100% confirmed. Now, this pair is confirmed, just not the look, so it could look totally different, and currently they are scheduled to release on March 30th, and the retail price will be 200 so that increase makes me believe that there might be some different materials also. And to be honest, if they did look like this, I kind of like them, I'm not gonna lie. I probably would pick them up. Also, the reason why they weren't showed off probably is due to them being an SE. Typically, Jordan brand keeps that kind of stuff under wraps for a while. However, I am going to try to ask around to see if I can get leaked some images. Anyways, let me know your thoughts on this pair down below. If Jordan brand releases them just like this, would you buy? And that's going to do it for this video. Like always, greatly appreciate you guys for watching. You can expect another upload in two days, I believe. I should be doing three videos this week. I still have more 2022 Jordan brand releases to go over. Now, if you got any questions, comments, leave it down below. And before I get out of here, like always, greatly appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe by hitting the red button below. Again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfalls.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.